Good day, folks, and welcome to the Victoria County Tourism Webinar Series. We're pleased that you're able to join us today at lunchtime, and we hope that uh, you uh, come back and visit again next week on uh, February the 16th. Today's uh, webinar is on getting the most from NovaScotia.com uh, for your tourism business. Um, this is a website that advertises and promotes uh, tourism businesses uh, to the world as well as festival and events and we are pleased to be able to uh, bring our speaker today, Michelle Sears, marketing coordinator with the Nova Scotia Tourism Division. Her primary focus is the website novascotia.com and with projects involving travel packages and deals and festival and events. I, I knew Michelle uh, before the pro before she started working in the province. She was the technology coordinator for tie-ins and also tourismtechnology.com. And she assisted many tourism businesses in our region in Victoria County as well as Cape Breton Island. So we're um, really pleased that she could take the time to join us today. Uh, Michelle is going to look at how operators can improve their information with their business listings how to add photos, social media, and extend their descriptions. You also, the also cover it will be festival and events and travel packages and deals. And she'll also introduce the Nova Scotia experiences. So it's my great pleasure to welcome Michelle Sears. Has already given me this great introduction. Um, one of my big things is that I love to be able to show all the operators here in Nova Scotia, what they can be doing on NovaScotia.com. It really is a win-win situation where this is a free opportunity or numerous free opportunities. Not only is it going to help your visibility on the internet, but it's also going to help us to promote you when we know what you're doing, what you're offering. And so this is one way we can all work together. So I'm going to start off here with going over a little bit of what I'm going to cover over the next half hour, 45 minutes. Uh, I'm going to talk about your listings. So for some of you, uh, I hear quite often from, we're changing pictures, uh, talking about the information that can be updated, and yet there are some out, out there that may not even realize what is on there or that they don't have a photo. So I'm going to talk about what those opportunities are. I'm going to get into social media. Everybody's talking about social media these days. So I'm going to talk about what the opportunities are with us, how you can help us, and how we can link in to each other, as well as talk about NovaScotiaBlogs.com, uh, Nova Scotia which is our blog platform. So for anybody that's blogging out there, this might be something you might want to get involved with. Uh, I'm going to touch on our festival and events and our travel packages and deals. For anybody that's involved in events, or maybe they're doing travel packages and deals with partners or on their own, these are two free ways of helping us promote you by uploading them yourself to NovaScotia.com. So I'm actually going to walk you through that just to show you how quick and easy it is. Uh, I'm going to talk about Nova Scotia Experiences, which was launched in the last couple of years. Uh, there's actually a toolkit that's free to download. You can use it for uh, creating your own packages and deals. You can also uh, get in touch with our product development team who can actually help you work on it, creating an experience. And I'm also going to touch on the InTouch Industry e-newsletter to make sure everybody knows what it's there for and hopefully everybody gets signed up if they're not already. So let's jump right in. So I thought I'd start off with giving some information on how NovaScotia.com did in 2011. So just pulling from Google Analytics, and that's another free program. If you're not already using an analytic program with your website, I highly recommend Google Analytics. So last year, we had just over 1.6 million visits, which is up slightly from the year before. Uh, we were actually pretty impressed because starting out in early 2011, most provinces around Canada, right up until spring, summer, were down 20% in visitation. We weren't down quite that far, but we actually rallied and came back and actually uh, surpassed by, I mean, minimum, probably under 5%. So we did well. Uh, the average time on the site is up to 4.5 minutes. It is down from a couple of years ago. The average page views has actually gone up a little bit. 
are click-throughs to operator listings. So people coming on the website, looking for information, clicking through to your business listing is up. So you can actually see that people aren't just going to one and going off onto your website. So they might be going to multiple listings. So it's actually surpassing our number of visits. Uh, percentage of traffic from Google, and we pay very close attention to how Google changes the rules, um, how we optimize the website, because we can see almost 60% of our traffic is from people typing Nova Scotia, or my favorite misspelling, Novia Scotia, into Google to find NovaScotia.com. And percentage of referrals from Facebook, again, social media being a big uh, referrer to us, it's up to 11%, and every month it's growing with the amount of fans, and I'll show you in a little bit here what exactly is going on there and the opportunities there. So first off, operator listings. If you're a licensed accommodation, a uh, tourism operator in the province of Nova Scotia, you have a listing on NovaScotia.com. As of this morning, we have 2,100, a uh, little over that actually, active business listings on NovaScotia.com. So, and of this, 926 are accommodations. So last year, we integrated, it was uh, a lot of work was put into it, but we, and a lot of work is still continuing to put in, be put into it. We integrated a new database that runs behind NovaScotia.com that contains the information that gets put on the website. So you can recall, I've got a screenshot here showing um, the little blurb, I call it a cryptic blurb that would appear in the Doers and Dreamers guide, because that database works for both Doers and Dreamers and the website you were very limited on the amount of space you had to write. So everything was kind of cryptic, you know, KQ, King, Queen. With this new database, we can now take that and write it out into a longer, more detailed business description that not only will talk about, in the case of an accommodation, not only talk about what you offer in your accommodation, but what you offer in your region. And we're doing that to keep people in the areas longer, giving them reasons to be there. Uh, another big one that's been a big, uh, we're seeing a lot more come in, is photos. The last database only allowed us to put seven photos maximum. I now recommend to people seven plus photos. So uh, social media integration, this is something that's going to be coming uh, a little later this winter into spring. Uh, we've actually got a new listing page layout, which I'll show you a mock-up of how it may look. So if you're involved with Facebook or Twitter or maybe your own blogs, we can actually now, you can give us that link, we'll connect it, and that symbol for whatever that channel is will show up. So the little F for Facebook, the little bird for Twitter, or maybe just the T for Twitter will show up so people will know they can click there and go and see what your other channels are. So we're kind of making everything connected in. And this is really going to give us more flexibility to expand the operator listings, the content that we offer now and in the future. Um, when I mentioned the descriptions, so we're going from that small little blurb to, I think it's a maximum of 3,500 characters, including spaces. So that's quite, a, that's quite a bit of information that you can use, or that you can take advantage of. So here's actually a screenshot of one that was done for Celtic Lodge. We've actually, when this was announced uh, just over a year ago, we actually hired a web writer who's actually working with us still. Uh, she's been writing search engine optimized extended business descriptions. So in this way, we're going in, we're seeing the information we have, we're using your website. If you're affiliated with check-in, uh, sorry, not check-ins, uh, Canada Select, we're able to get the information. But we're going, we're writing, and then we're going to you and saying, listen, here's what we've written. Give us your feedback. Is this good? You know, we want to be able to put this up to help, you know, present you and your business so that we can get people clicking through to close the deal with you. Uh, she's optimizing it by using terms such as Cape Breton Island, uh, Cabot Trail, anything that's in your area because people will be searching. This will actually, somebody could actually go into Google when this is all said and done and up and on the website, could go into Google, type in accommodations, Cabot Trail, Cape Breton Island, all of a sudden could start finding our listing pages on NovaScotia.com, find your accommodation or your attraction and be able to find you that way. We're going to resize photos for a new photo displayer. So in the past, they've been uh, probably two inches by two inches in size, roughly. We're actually going to be making them four inches wide by three inches high. So it's going to give a bigger photo. And what this will allow is that, again, moving forward, right now we may not have the capacity to do sort of a, a slideshow of photos, but we may be able to do that in another year's time. So 
people will be able to see exactly where they're going, where they're staying, where they're sleeping, the attraction they're going to. So it'll help engage them a little bit more. Those photos, again, another free opportunity, and you can email your photos to novascotia.com at gmail.com, and we'll put them up from there. And along with it, you can see that you can actually add a little caption with it. So again, the links to social media channels will be added. That's coming up this year, as well as the nearby locations of interest. Uh, in the past, you were able to add three. Now it's unlimited. And for that, let us know the business or attraction that's near, uh, near your business, the distance in kilometers from your property, approximately, and the website URL, if there is one, and we'll start to connect and make those links. So I wanted to kind of give you, actually, this is, you're probably one of the first groups that are getting to see this. This is actually a partial mock-up uh, done by our agency that's helping us recreate the listing pages. And what we wanted to do was start to highlight, so you can see the photos are bigger, um, across the top, in this case, the mock-up, uh, it says 1755 Solomon House. You can see that uh, Canada Select, uh, CAA, Nova Scotia approved. It's starting to show those quality programs. The information is there. Book now if you're with check-ins, or if you're not with check-ins, it would say contact to book. You can see the social media links there. They're a little bit small. But you can see that short little description is there, but you can see the white space below that shows the amount of space that's going to be available on that page for you to have that business description written out. The map will now fall on the same page, as well as we're looking to pull in uh, the events calendar that will actually pick up for the region. So in this case, it's uh, an accommodation. Maybe somebody's looking for things to see and do while they're in the area, so they can start to piece it together and help them with the travel planning. And you'll also see uh, packages and deals are there. That will actually flip into a new tab within that page to show anybody that you have uh, packages and deals. And actually, just above the photos, videos. We're actually going to be able to, um, in the past, we were able to add one video. If you now have a video channel on YouTube, we'll be able to add that as well on your behalf. So at this point, uh, I think our first poll questions are appearing. So we're going to get into a little bit more social media to talk about what we're doing. But at this point, you know, I'm wondering just with some of the things I've just touched on, and at any point you can contact me and we can talk a little bit more in depth about these. But I'm wondering, you know, do you currently play a role in the information that shows on NovaScotia.com for your business? And we're also looking at are you currently using social media? Is this something that you'll think about connecting to your listing? A lot of people now are foregoing websites in some instances and are going to Facebook and they're talking to their customers there. So we're interested to see, you know, a little bit about what you're doing so far so that we can kind of work together. So I'm going to jump right in here to our social media. So again, you're going to be able to do these, you're going to be able to link to your social media sites on uh, your listing on NovaScotia.com. So TripAdvisor being one, which I'm going to talk about here in a second. But your blogs, if you've got a photos on Flickr, anything like that, if it's one that's not listed here, talk to me. We can uh, make sure that we can get that integrated. Um, in last year, we actually incorporated Facebook likes. This was our first step. So here's an opportunity for anybody. If you go in, look at your listing, and you're going to see the like button in the top right-hand corner right now. Click it. Log into Facebook. And what it's going to do, and you can recommend this to any of your customers, relatives, friends, anybody around, but what it's going to do is in their Facebook feed or your Facebook feed, it's going to show up something similar to this. I believe it's a little bit more information now with uh, some new changes in Facebook. It's actually going to pop up on your news feed, on your friend's news feed, saying that you've liked such and such a property, such and such an attraction, whatever it is. So other people can kind of look at it, see it, click on it, and find out more of themselves. So the power of social media. So that's already working on the website. So while we're talking about Facebook, I thought I'd give you an update on how we're doing and the opportunities here. So as of probably half hour, 45 minutes ago, we were up to four, just over 48,000 fans on Facebook. And I actually did this screenshot earlier in the week, and we were actually at uh, 48,130 fans. So it's every day. We can go in 10 minutes time and see 10 new fans. We're constantly gaining new people coming in, uh, people that have been here, uh, people that are just learning about us for the first time. We, as you see, in Cape Breton was just in the news yesterday for being uh, the top romantic place in Canada. Things like that go all over the internet. So people are finding out about Nova Scotia coming. So 
we need to continue talking with these people, keeping them engaged. So we need to know about events happening. We need quality videos and photos. And we just need things to tell people about what's going on in each and every region in this province. So if you've got things going on, you know, let us know. Um, you can email myself. We can kind of get it worked into the queue to get that out there and pushed out because if you post on our wall, and this is something a lot of people don't realize, when you post on our wall uh, an event or what have you, it goes on our wall so somebody looking at our Facebook wall will see it. If we post on our wall, it goes to all 48,429 plus fans. So they, it all goes on their news feed. So it actually is a bit broader in getting out there. But not only that, contribute to the content. So today I know there was a um, package uh, in Cape Breton that was posted having to do with Valentine's Day and following up with, again, Cape Breton being one of the most romantic places in the world. And, you know, contribute. Say, you know, talk about the Cabot Trail, talk about Cape Breton, you know, talk about things, be an ambassador for the area or for the province. And, again, if you have Facebook, let us know and we'll connect it to your listing. So Twitter, this is, you know, you either like it or you don't. Uh, we're up, we're closing in on 5,000 followers. Um, we're always uh, tweeting out the same things that we're putting out on Facebook plus other things because Twitter is a faster pace, more information is shared. Uh, one good thing with Twitter is that we're able to do promotions and giveaways and contests, whereas Facebook has rules around that. So if you're running a contest uh, or a promotion, let us know and we can actually tweet it out on your behalf to get people going. So we can connect that way. And again, if you have a Twitter account and want to connect it with your listing, send us the link and we'll definitely get that uh, connected to your listing. Flickr uh, is one of a number of different uh, photo album-like sites out there and this is the one we're using. We use it through our social media. Um, there's, we're hoping that we'll be able to bring that into the website as we move forward, but we're up over 8,500 photos and these are user-generated photos. They're not our photos, they're photos that people are sharing with us from around the world. So we're getting, as you can see in this one, uh, pictures of the eagles feeding in Sheffield Mills. We're getting pictures of lighthouses, places people from all over the world are sharing with us. So you can join that group and contribute your own photos. Mention it to people that are coming through your doors. Let them, you know, share their photos as well. And again, if you've got your own Flickr group to promote your area, your business, again, this is another way of connecting it to NovaScotia.com. YouTube is so much, so many people are on it, they're paying attention, they're watching video, they can picture themselves there. We actually posted a video on our Facebook that somebody shared with us, um, a gentleman that took a four-day weekend and drove from Ottawa on his motorcycle to do the cow trail, stayed one night in Meat Cove, and he documented it all with his helmet cam, put it on YouTube, we shared it, people were like, Oh my gosh, like I mean just, they were able to vis, you know, visualize themselves there, it was a really high quality video. So right now we have over 310,000 views of our video channel. People are going on, they're checking out our videos, um, Tom will be happy to hear this, that uh, still I think our most watched video is the one of Joanne at the Highland Village. So with YouTube, if you have a great YouTube video, let us know, we can use that to share it out. But if you have a video of your business, or maybe you have your own channel, we can actually connect this to your list on NovaScotia.com as well. And it's just one of these things. Making those connections, believe it or not, can actually help with search engine linking and rankings. So I mentioned TripAdvisor a little bit earlier, and I, this is another one of those. Some people really, really follow it. They're into it every day. They're seeing what comments and what's going on, and other people don't go near it as well as much. Um, but it's, it's undeniable. It's one of the most popular rating and review travel websites in the world. And in speaking with TripAdvisor, uh, they were in the city not too long ago, um, actually just six months ago, and they told us that November 2010 was one of their slowest months ever, and they still received 29 million unique visits. That is huge. So one of the things that we've you know, mentioned before, you may have heard me or seen me speak or any of my colleagues, it's something we've thought about building into NovaScotia.com, but we need to hear from operators to know if this is something that you would be interested in participating in uh, because we'd have to build it into the website. What we're looking at is possibly bringing in the ratings 
for your business and so that it's another way of people looking checking you out online and going to your website so um, <clears throat> excuse me this is not something we've actually put in the poll but you know if you have any thoughts on this uh, questions I'd love to hear from you you know it's something that it's a medium that's not going away it's constantly used and referenced and we've just seen in the recent awards I believe there was and I could be wrong five places in Nova Scotia that landed on a top list for 2011 I think there was um, one up in Bay St. Lawrence uh, I believe there's a B&B &B someplace else in Cape Breton I know there was a motel in Antigonish so I mean that's pretty substantial and these are people that are on there paying attention responding and watching what's being said so this is just a little food for thought love to hear back and see what people think uh, NovaScotiaBlogs.com we actually uh, relaunched it last year with a new look and layout in the past it really focused on the bloggers and Tom was actually one of our bloggers uh, we've now grown from the initial I believe it was five to I think we're well over 20 at this point and they're blogging about certain things one person actually goes out and does blogs just on GP you know talking about GPS he's doing geocaching very niche blogs some people travel all over uh, this is great content we've seen a huge increase in visitation to this portion of the website um, if you're already blogging consider blogging with us uh, if you're interested get in touch with me and we'll chat um, or if you've got great ideas for blogs this could be festival events coming up um, maybe the day trip idea maybe something family oriented something that we can feed to our bloggers because we have bloggers all over this province it could be new ideas that get them writing get them involved in what's going on and get us a new blog and get people interested in something new in the province and I just wanted to show you a screenshot of the new layout so as I was saying in the past it really focused on who the bloggers were but for somebody coming into the website not knowing who these bloggers were they were more interested in content so we've actually revamped it so that the content comes up first everything pu uh, published is tagged with you know is, does it have to do with beaches and seacoast does it have to do with food and that way people can start to drill down and find things that appeal to the needs that they're looking that they're looking for their trip planning so social media uh, we're looking for people to be an ambassador you know be involved with us you know join our networks post comments share photos videos tweet blog whatever and connect with your listing so I've just added some links here to those various uh, channels we're involved in you can also find them directly on NovaScotia.com on any page close to the bottom you'll actually see the images or the icons for each Flickr Facebook YouTube Twitter uh, our blogs has its own button on the website as well as TripAdvisor and again send us this information we can promote it on your behalf so I'm going to jump right into festival and events on NovaScotia.com now as Tom mentioned I came over from Thailand and in the amount of time over the last five years the way people are trip planning changes and we're starting to see more and more questions coming in to our call center where people are planning their itineraries around things to do uh, we're getting more questions about I'm going to be here the you know middle of the summer do I need to book ahead for accommodation so festival events we know people are going there it's a highly visited section of the website so we, this is information that it's an easy way to get information into NovaScotia.com on your region to let us know what's going on we actually use this content uh, there's going to be lures nice pictures explaining what it is throughout the website as well as we have one monthly email that goes out that has to do a lot with festival and events so we try and pick some of the ones going on around the province for that time period to share out to people we use some social media channels and again our bloggers are using it for blog topics so I'm going to walk you through how to put in a festival and event uh, you're going to go to NovaScotia.com slash partners and it actually redirects you into our government website in there you'll see a number of ways that you can market your business and at this point I'll get you to click on festival events in here if you've never used it before very first time you're going to register you're automatically approved so that means that you can actually go and click go back click on login and it'll take you to this screen where when you log in you 
give your email address. Your email address is your login username, the password you've assigned yourself, and it will bring you into our manager. So you're, you really want to get in there, add that event. So first thing you'll do is click on add an event. So it does ask a lot of information, but this information is crucial. People are coming here, they don't know the areas. We need to make sure that they are finding all the information they need. So obviously event name, event description, we've actually increased the uh, amount of information that can be typed in there this year because we want people to be detailed. We want you to tag it with uh, event information. What categories does it fall into? Well, if it's a wine tasting, it has to do with cuisine, food and wine. Uh, the event location, very important. Uh, if there's a venue, in cases of something that uh, there's various venues, I encourage people to, for the venue name to actually say that, various venues. The next screen here, uh, contact details for the event, if there's a website, phone number, anything that they can use to get in touch with somebody for event information. You know, it's greatly appreciated to get that in there. Event admission details, you've actually got room to type. So if it's not just a straight up price, it's pricing, you know, by age or by, by event, you can actually put that in there, pricing specific. Check our website for more information. Event services and facilities, what's offered? Is there parking available? How many parking spots? Are there concessions? Is it accessible? These are important for people that are planning to come to your event. Uh, the next screen, photos. Photos can say a thousand words, so why not put it up when you're uh, promoting your festival and event? You can actually upload seven photos, each with its own little caption. You can also submit a PDF brochure or poster of the event. By that, uh, you can send it again to novascotia.com at gmail.com. This one is probably one of the most important pieces of this, and it's one that for each and every festival event that goes in, uh, once you've submitted it, you're going to see draft written beside it or appearing beside it, and that means that it's been sent to an administrator any administrator going into this system, one of the things that we check is the mapping coordinates, the latitude and longitude. So in this, if it's blank, you want to update your coordinates to add, and if you know your GPS, longitude and latitude, you can enter it in underneath the map. If you don't, that little red pointer that appears in Toro, it always appears in central Nova Scotia, you can click on it, hold your mouse button down, and drag it anywhere in the province, drop it, uh, zoom in, zoom out, until you get it in the right place, and then you can click OK. And that saves your longitude and latitude, which at that point, if you want to write that down, that's yours. You'll have that uh, GPS information going forward for any other event you want to put in. Um, you can add a YouTube video link if there was maybe a recording of a previous event that highlights what goes on in this event. And at the very bottom, there's two check boxes. One, acknowledging that this information is going to be shared on NovaScotia.com and with partners. We're actually going to be feeding this information out to uh, the RTIA so that they can use it on their website. So it's great. It's another way to promote your events as well as schedule the event. Scheduling the event is probably the most important because what it does, it brings you into a new screen. So again, you're going to make sure the event name, the proper event name is there. You're going to schedule it either by specific date or if it's a reoccurring event. So say it's a Kaylee that uh, happens every Thursday between June 1st and August 31st. You can actually put that in here. That way it appears for all of those dates. And then check Notify Administrator and hit OK. Without this schedule being filled in, your event will not show up on NovaScotia.com. Um, if we can find the information, you know, if it's quick, we can put it back in, but most often we'll have to email uh, people back and say, can you give it, you know, go back in, add your schedule, because until we do, it won't show up because the website doesn't know where to show it at, what time and dates. So it's really important not to forget that part. So once it's up on the website, it appears on our festival and events page. Uh, you're able to go in, and in this case, we did a keyword search on Blueberry to see what Blueberry festivals or related festivals were showing up in Nova Scotia. And then each one, once you've added a video, you've added photos, you've added a short description, the website is there, map and directions, you can see the tab, you click on that. All that information is there so that people can actually look at it and 
you know, start to add. And you can see it's quite small, but just above the photo there, there's Add to Planner. These can all be added to the itinerary planner on NovaScotia.com. So this one's going to look a little bit similar, but Travel Packages and Deals is another online manager that you can log in and manage and update your own packages and deals. I've, you know, a number of people are out there, they're offering packages and deals on their own website. Up until about two, two and a half years ago, this was actually a paid uh, opportunity. You would actually pay to do this on NovaScotia.com, but the last two, two and a half years, it's been free. We encourage anyone to put in those packages and deals. This is actually only open to licensed accommodations in Nova Scotia and tourism operators in Nova Scotia. What it does is it offers consumers the convenience, travel options, activity ideas. People are coming here, they're looking for things to see and do. Why not bundle it together? You know, give them an option, give them an idea, maybe the dinner or whale watching cruise and accommodations for a couple of nights. Instead of them staying with you for one night, you've now increased that visitation into your region by possibly two or more days. Packages uh, actually receive a large push on NovaScotia.com as well through Lures. We also use it in our, we have two monthly emails, uh, which you can sign up. Uh, there's a button on the left-hand side of every page in NovaScotia.com. You can actually sign up for our two emails, and one of them is on packages. So we try and pick packages from every region of the province, promote them, push them out, give people ideas of what's going on. So, and we also, again, use this through social media as well. So the difference between travel packages and deals, so package is actually a bundle containing at least two tourism products, services, and or activities for one price that they're offered during a specific period of time. Maybe it's something that is running year round, January to December, or maybe it's something very specific. Maybe, like I said, a whale watching tour, for example, it's open during that season or during the whale watching, the best times for whale watching. The price of the bundles if broken out individually, should not equal more than the package price. So if someone was to go and add up all the pieces of it, of the package, and they see that it's less, well, they may just go and, you know, book and do other things. This should be something that's an incentive. It's giving them something that's already pre-packaged, making it easy for their travel planning. With travel deals, it's something that it provides that incentive. So maybe it's an overnight stay with wine and flowers, chocolate truffles in the room, maybe it's dinner, or maybe it's a two-night stay with a ski hill pass. So you know, it's, it's giving somebody that incentive to get out for the weekend. They're already doing it. Why not bundle it, make it a little bit more special? So walk you through adding the travel packages and deals. Again, you're going to go to novascotia.com slash partners. Packages and deals is what you're going to click on in the Marketing Your Business page. A little different with this one. You register first-time users. Once you do, you actually have to be approved by an administrator because, again, this is open only to licensed accommodations in Nova Scotia and tourism operators in Nova Scotia. So once, and actually a shortcut if you'd like, if you do today or any day decide to go in and register, send me off an email and I'm one of the administrators. I can go in and just approve you. Uh, once you've done that, you can click on the login and log in again. Same thing. It's going to be the email address you assign yourself and a password to log in. And once you get in there, you're going to set up, add an offer. And there's a number of different fields in this one. It's not quite as long as the Festival Event Manager. One thing I should mention about both is that any events that you put in or packages and deals you put in, because you've got a login, they all stay within your account unless you delete them. You can change them from year to year to make it a little bit different. Maybe the price is different. Maybe the uh, valid dates are different. But you can actually go in and continue to change them as needed. So package deal and title, very important. Um, if it's a package or deal, the categories, again, that it's assumed with. Maybe it's, you know, staying, maybe it's a guided hiking tour with dinner on a mountaintop. So maybe that falls into cuisine, outdoor adventure, accommodation. So you can actually put it in those categories because people can search by those. The start and end date, so when is it valid starting, when does it end, and then there's website display date, which you always want to put it in today. Make it go up today because, you know, even if it's, I mean, this is February, but maybe your package isn't until the fall. We don't know when people are searching and planning their vacations. 
why not have it up there? So, uh, you know, put it up today, I tell everyone. Your package description, again, uh, you've got 4,000 characters to work with, including spaces. Affiliation, if you are affiliated with Canada Select as an accommodation, you're with check-in, maybe you're with Destination Cape Breton, any of those affiliations that you want to connect with, you can put those there. Your package conditions should be, you know, your cancellation policy, uh, must book ahead of time, uh, no pets, anything like that, just that may come into play with that package. Your package summary should summarize what the description is. You know, two nights stay, hiking on a mountaintop, uh, dinner um, made of organic food, whatever it may be, something, make it enticing because that's going to catch them. The second part to it is your business details, including website and email. Uh, you can add one image right now. Uh, we're looking at increasing this in the future, especially where people are working together in partnerships. And the very last bit is collect, uh, there's a checkbox that basically, you know, I acknowledge this information is going to be posted on NovaScotia.com and could be shared with partners. So the RTIAs, again, to get those packages, again, spread out, more visibility on the Internet. Once it's done, it goes up on NovaScotia.com. If you've got a listing on NovaScotia.com, it will be connected to your listing. That's when that little Packages and Deals tab appears within your listing when you have a package or deal to show. So it all shows up there. And to connect, they have to go to you to close that deal, to make that buy. Uh, in this case, there it shows the tab Packages and Deals and all the packages that are available. And I mentioned at the first, the experiences for Nova Scotia. Uh, the product development team worked really hard on this, and it's a fantastic product that's available for free. You can actually go to the government website, and you can download the experience toolkit. And in it, they explain a product is what you buy, and experience is what you remember. This toolkit is great for creating an experience, but it, I also find it very beneficial for anybody that is creating a package, especially if they're creating a package with partners. It's got worksheets in it where you can lie, uh, lay out exactly who brings what to the table and, you know, costing, how it's broken out, how this is going to work, and it's fantastic. But it also talks about best practices, people that are already doing it, giving experiences. I highly recommend downloading it and giving it a read, checking it out, and hopefully something that you can incorporate and use. Uh, the Experience Collection, which went live on Nova Scotia last year, we had uh, 20, I believe, um, from being a blacksmith for a day to being a soldier for a day to going out into the Bay of Fundy and digging clams. So there's all these really niche experiences out there, and the product development team is actually in the process of creating, I believe, 20 more for this year. So if you're interested, there's contact information. If there's something that you've always wanted to do, maybe you're already doing it, but you need a hand in getting it promoted, maybe finessed a little, the team over there would love to hear from you. So last but not least, the In Touch Industry Newsletter. And I just realized that the next couple of questions for the poll went up. So I guess backtracking there, do you currently offer packages and deals on NovaScotia.com? You know, yay or nay, hopefully this is something you'll consider moving forward. And In Touch Industry Newsletter, are you signed up and receiving the industry newsletter in In Touch? In Touch. This started, um, it actually used to be Fax Flash back a couple of years ago, and it's changed. It's an online version. You can actually go to the government website to sign up if you don't already receive it. You can also read all back issues. Once you go in, it gives you ideas or tells you about partnership opportunities, things coming up. This is the way for us to keep the industry in, engaged in what we're doing. So this time of year, it's busy. There are travel shows going on, but also there are opportunities coming up. Uh, for anybody that's interested in banner ads and text links, for example, uh, starting March 1st, if you're interested in posting banner ads and text links on NovaScotia.com, you'll actually contact me and say what pages you want to display them on. If you're looking for more information, it's going to come out in the next In Touch, but you can also contact me directly to get more information. So uh, we've got, uh, just looking at the poll results here, uh, we've got about half the people here are that are on the uh, webinar are signed up for In Touch. That's great. 
the more the merrier. It's out there, it's free, it comes usually once a month. If there's anything uh, pressing and timely, we may do two in a month. But this is a great opportunity just to keep in touch with what we're doing and to find out more partnership opportunity. So, it's been a lot of information thrown at you all at once, but we've talked about operator listings, what's going on right now, what you can be uh, contributing, and there's more to come yet. We're not finished. There's a lot more that can be done with this website. So we're moving forward. If you haven't heard from our web writer, Julia, um, who's there now, uh, let me know. Uh, we're actually working on accommodations right now. And again, we're over 900 accommodations, so there's a lot to go through. If you've received it, check out your listing. If it's already up, if there's any changes, you can always let us know. Uh, I've showed you festival and events, travel packages and deals. We've talked a bit about experiences. And of course, in touch. So at this point, uh, you've got my contact information. Sadie Thomas Fry is uh, ahead of funding and whatnot for festival and events. So I also work with the festival and events side of, on the website as well. At this point, if there are any questions, I'd love to answer them. Thanks, Michelle. Uh, on behalf of the municipality of Victoria County, I and my and our host, myself, Tom Wilson, I would really like to thank you for a very informative and important presentation for the tourism operators uh, in Nova Scotia as well as the festival and events people. Um, it also I'd like to acknowledge and thank our technical people behind the webinar. Um, they do a tremendous job and it's without them this would not happen so I'd like to thank uh, Victoria County Capsite Association and in particular, uh, Donna McDonald and Annette McKenzie. Uh, thanks to both of them for, for this. We'll give you maybe a minute or so. Uh, if you notice on the right-hand panel, there's a Q&A section. Mm -hmm. uh, if you want to ask a question, please type it right now, and we'll do our best to get it answered from Michelle. Um, this webinar will be recorded. And after the uh, webinar is over, you will get an email with a link saying um, with a link and you can go back and review this again if you want to. Um, there will be a short little survey that will pop up once you leave the webinar and uh, it, I believe it's somewhere between four or five questions and they're, they're very easy to answer. We're always on the lookout to learn from, from uh, our webinars and how we can keep improving the quality, the information, and of course the technical stuff as well. Um, I'll just check here and see if there's any questions. Yeah, we do have a couple here from Heather, I see. This one, if I have already updated the campground listing for the Doers and Dreamers Guide for Cape Breton Highlands National Park, will the updates be put into the website as well, or do I have to do it? We do it. Um, Actually, Heather, that might be one to contact me directly on, just depending on what the updates were, um, because the guide is actually in the process of being print right now. So if I were to go over and ask them, they'd look at me and go, we're printing. So maybe we'll connect on that to see exactly, because normally uh, we work in the same uh, database. Uh, information goes into a print side and can be transferred over into the website, but sometimes uh, there might be a little bit of uh, delay, so I can check on it, but maybe we'll touch base and we'll find out exactly what that information was. And also, is it possible to have Cape Breton Highlands National Park as a region so that uh, visitors could search hiking or camping in the park? Um, we currently have it as a community, not a region. That's actually something we're looking at right now is expanding our regions, um, especially not only in our packages as well as our festival events and possibly on the website because, again, it is a region in itself and would make it a little bit easier. So that's something that we can actually work on too. Great. Okay. Uh, um, sorry, Michelle, I have a question here from Sadie Thomas Fry. <laughs> it's, will these enhanced features on NovaScotia.com be featured in the mobile site sometime in the future? Uh, we're actually getting very close to launching that mobile site. Um, I haven't seen a final layout of what all is going to be, but I believe that yeah, it's really going to mirror the website. Um, we've just spent a lot of time actually cropping down the information that was there to make it a little bit easier for a mobile site. But uh, seeing as Sadie's a couple of doors away from me, that's mm -hmm. something that uh, 
<laughs> I knew she was going to ask a question. Uh, that's one that we're actually working on right now. So I believe a lot of these are going to be added. I can't say for sure because the point of a mobile site is to make it easily accessible. We don't want to weigh it down and that's actually what we found when we first uh, went into it. We found that we have so much content we really had to uh, pare it down. Uh, Michelle, I have a quick little question. Sure. Um, you mentioned about uh, the changes coming with the tourism operators uh, listings that they'll be able to have more pictures, more <coughs> videos, and social media contacts. I'm, I'm curious, what about the festival events? Will they be um, in the springtime? Will you be providing them the opportunity to include more pictures and social media and videos? Uh, I believe, well, that's actually a good one. We are actually, um, I'm hoping it's going to be this year. Uh, again, it's going to depend on, we've got a lot of changes coming up uh, with budget coming down, new fiscal. Uh, we're actually looking at redeveloping the festival and event manager. So these are all things that we're going to be looking to increase. With this new database that's now working behind NovaScotia.com, we're actually moving towards building in the festival and event manager to be connected to it. So instead of you having to enter in all your contact information as you've just seen, it could automatically appear there and be a little bit more simpler as well packages and deals would be the same. Eventually what we're moving towards is having every operator with a listing on the website or festival and event packages and their actual business listing will have a unique login to be able to log in and manage their pictures on their listing their packages and deals, their festival events in one spot. So that's what our ultimate goal is in with this new database. So these are all, I mean, if you have suggestions on festival events, you know, maybe something that's not, uh, you see, like you said, uh, social media links aren't there, you know, send off an email to me and this is something we can kind of add to our list of things that we're looking at, how we can integrate. Where it is already uh, integrated in the new database, I can pretty much guarantee you it will be involved in festival events and packages as well. Well, the packages, of course, will be fed into the operator listing. Festival and events are going to start being a little bit, as you saw the event calendar, but I absolutely agree. Festival and events, you know, Facebook, Twitter, whatever you have, should be integrated. So I do believe I can say that that will be involved. Okay, that's great news. Uh